All right, let's talk a little bit about the forecast for the rest of your weekend. Oh, yes, a few showers moving through right now and yeah. tomorrow. More of those pop-up showers and thunderstorm chances. It's going to be more humid and right. a little warmer tomorrow <laughs> afternoon as well. Katie loves that. I love humidity. <laughs> I know. I Not too ideal if you're heading out the doors yeah. running. I'm guessing you're going for a run tomorrow? No. Yes. <laughs> Lucky guess, I think. And while those few showers continue to push to the south and east, and no lightning with these, the, the lightning actually well to our south and west, moving across Connecticut. So these are just your typical, perhaps thunder showers, mainly showers. And a quick, heavy downpour will help the vegetable plants out there if you're growing a garden or something. I know my tomato plants always welcome any type of rain at this point in the season as we have lots of water bands across some towns and and we have a rainfall deficit and hopefully we we can get out of it over the next several days because in the seven day we will have a more active weather pattern with more rain chances than what we've had the last couple of weeks but those few showers moving across 128 Bedford to Woburn and right over Boston now the rainfall picking up in intensity across Eastie across Chelsea and across Nahant and Lynn the North Shore to Peabody Manchester by the sea as we head farther to the north Gloucester and Cape Ann this moving offshore momentarily. South shore we go and situate Marshfield getting a few sprinkles. The rain picking up in situate right now and that if it holds together which it looks like these showers will moving towards P-Town within the hour. Most of the heavy showers and storm activity moving towards New York City. No severe thunderstorm warnings at this time and no severe weather in the forecast tonight. Now tomorrow morning we'll start off with some scattered showers and a couple storms well to our south and west but here in Boston and mainly dry, mostly cloudy, also some areas of patchy fog developing. In the afternoon, if we get more sunshine and more of that daytime heating, that leads to instability. This could help to trigger those strong thunderstorm chances, and especially across the south coast. And this is where we have the potential for a damaging wind gust. Mainly any storm that develops, there is that possibility. Most of these should stay sub-severe, brief heavy downpours, and also that cloud to ground lightning. If you do plan on going to the beach for the first part of Sunday, you might see that sunshine, but keep an eye to the sky as a thunderstorm could pop up fairly quickly. And our temperatures have been rather cooler than normal the last couple days, even though it's been hot. Well, well, we are running above average so far for the temperature in July, but the next couple of days we're going to increase that temperature, I think, as we see highs back in the 90s. We have a break from it right now, though, below normal with a high of 76 in Boston today. And the humidity wasn't too bad. Temperatures have fallen into the 60s and 70s. And overnight tonight, we will still be in the 60s. Fenway forecast tomorrow afternoon, 81 degrees, warm, humid, passing thunderstorm in the heat of the afternoon for that afternoon game. Tomorrow's high is 70s along the coast and again, a below normal day, average high being 83. Some mid 80s, though, as you get farther inland. And beach and boating forecast for tomorrow, 70 78 degrees. Again, keep an eye to the sky if you are out on the boat tomorrow as a pop-up storm could develop pretty quickly. That's why we call them pop-up storms. Coastal concerns still tonight. We have another king tide, so astronomically high tide just after 1 a.m., one to three foot waves offshore. This means some minor splash over and perhaps some minor coastal flooding. We know the drill here. We've had this the last several nights and it will continue perhaps through Tuesday. Here are the high tide times in Boston, and it's going to be close to minor flood stage. There's your seven day. More heat on the way, more humidity for tomorrow, and then really hot, humid, hazy, and hair, as Katie and I like to say, <laughs> for Monday and Tuesday. We have low 90s, chance for pop-up storms again Monday afternoon, and also more widespread rain for Tuesday night into Wednesday. Much better by the end of the week. Ken? All right, Pamela, thanks.